A few weeks ago, there was a dramatic and potentially disastrous story involving a 28-year-old man named Edgar Welch who went into a pizzeria in North Carolina with a gun and uh, attempted to make individuals pay consequences for an alleged pedophilia ring that was run out of that pizzeria. Well, uh, that was, of course, a conspiracy theory that was debunked, and Welch even said himself that Maybe he shouldn't have done that since his intel wasn't 100%. Well, after that gigantic story where, again, the conspiracy was debunked, turns out a recent poll finds that nearly half of Trump supporters, voters specifically, uh, still believe that Hillary Clinton was running a pedophilia ring out of that pizzeria. It's insane. So this is an Economist YouGov poll released Tuesday, and it shows that a staggering 46% of Trump voters believe that the so-called Pizzagate conspiracy um, is real, that it actually happened. Um, yeah. This started on 4chan and Reddit, and, and it spread online. It's a little unbelievable to me how well it worked in, in getting the word out. This is, this is what I'm talking about. So you and I have had a little bit of a disagreement about the impact of fake news, the impact of these conspiracy theories during the election. I'm on Facebook a lot, so I saw a lot of it, and I noticed just how prevalent it was. And so, yeah, it's a big deal because if people despise a candidate and they really want their person to win, they're going to share it. It's going to go viral. And a lot of people lack media literacy, right? And I'm not saying that because I think they're dumb. I just think that there are a lot of sites out there that are made to look like real news sites, and in reality, they have a political agenda and they have incentives in pushing out Fake news stories. I'm not talking about misleading news stories. I'm not talking about biased news stories. I'm talking about just completely false information. Just made that's up entirely. Made up cloth. entirely w with the intention of doing damage. And so this is an example of that. And yeah, it went viral because things that are outrageous go viral on the internet. That's just so, what happens. Yeah, and and we're not saying that fake news was the only reason Hillary Clinton lost. We're not in that camp. That's just excuses the Democratic Party makes. But but obviously it had a significant impact and the daily news that's covering this is wrong they called reddit uh, an obscure website reddit's not an obscure website it's a giant website on the internet but this old media and and i guess you know to even though we live online and and we're the largest online news show etc even i'm since i'm 46 i'm still a little old school like mm -hmm. i can't believe it spread that much on social media right but these guys don't get it at all in the old 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 press they're like what is this thing called reddit <laughs> hmm. and and so it, it spread and it spread but not only did it spread to enough trump voters for them to know about it but now 46% of them believe that Hillary Clinton ran a child sex ring. That's unbelievable. And a guy goes in there to, to investigate with a rifle. Earlier reports have said that he had fired a shot. Now the reports are saying he did not fire a shot. Okay, and now he says he's wrong. He should have, he got, his sources were wrong. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Still nearly half of Trump voters are like, oh, obviously she ran a sex ring out of a pizza store. Oh my, because I saw in the emails coded words, right? Like pizza. Like pizza. Or maybe they literally had pizza because pizza parties happen all the time. Oh, or do they? Look, if you connect it to something even plausible, like for example, Jeffrey Epstein, a billionaire who uh, was charged with uh, having sex with underage girls, prostitutes, and other prostitutes, yeah. right? Um, and, and, and serve some time for it. Now, Bill Clinton and Donald Trump have been connected to Epstein. They used to party with Epstein. To what degree they did anything else, no one knows. So don't like start speculation based on that on 16chan, okay? <laughs> okay. But if you went with that story, there's at least some plausibility to it, right? Because there's at least it can. They're like, no, it wasn't them, it was Hillary Clinton. Yeah. She would go to the back of the pizza store and be like, hmm, what the hell is she doing in a child's sex room? And why the hell would she do that? Have you no goddamn rationality at all? No, they don't. They don't have any rationality. They want to believe what they want to believe. And that's why we get into these debates about whether or not we have hope for the country. And I'm pessimistic because after something like this gets debunked, people still 
decide that they want to believe it because it goes toward their narrative and again what they want to believe it reinforces this notion that hillary is this crazy maniac who's out there running pedophilia rings it's insane Sa by the way a satanic cult who runs a pedophilia ring back uh, how can you be this stupid to believe that that's unbelievable i have by the way it's not just uh, right wingers it's progressives who hate hillary clinton too i got a couple of emails from progressive jank but you need to look into it more Okay. Yeah. Well, oh. you you guys are insane. Okay. Uh, and if you're by, mad by the way, saying that, I don't care. By the way, the authorities, because people like, because this has become so prevalent, did look into it, and they're like, of course they're not running a sex ring out of a pizza shop. There's no evidence for that. None. 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 No. But oh yeah. But on the other hand, I don't like Hillary Clinton. So maybe she's a satanic This is so monster. insane. This is like an episode of Black Mirror, right? And. It's all fun and games when someone goes into a pizza shop with a rifle and luckily doesn't do any harm. But what happens when someone actually does open fire and innocent people get killed because stupid nonsense individuals are spreading fake news in an effort to smear a candidate that they don't like? By the way, I don't know why Infowars deleted all of these articles re uh, regarding Pizzagate from their websites. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to cover up the fact that you also had a lot to do with this? A whopping 80% of Trump voters claimed that the intelligence community's conclusion about Russia hacking into Podesta's emails was uh, not true. How do they know it's not true? Look, you can question that fact, right? And so the intelligence community says it. There's a lot of people who say, well, they didn't show the evidence publicly. So that's not the one where I go, okay, I'm going to stake everything on this, right? Yeah. But 80% of Trump voters are positive that it's not true. Mm -hmm. How they have that evidence, I'm not sure. Now let's go on to the others. Uh, the poll showed 60% of Trump voters believe the president elects uh, claim that millions of people voted illegally in this election. Millions of people, people who have no documents and who go out of their way to hide from the government because they don't want to get deported, went to the polls and voted. Zero uh, evidence. There's no evidence. There's no evidence it whatsoever. It did not happen. It did not but happen. You are wrong. You are factually incorrect. They don't want evidence, though. That's the thing. They don't want evidence. Again, I, I keep repeating it. They just want whatever reinforces what they already believe. And it, by the way, just going back to Pizzagate for half a second, right? Mm -hmm. Even afterwards, only 29% of his voters are sure the allegation is definitely not true. Only 29%. Okay, the rest of his voters either Could believe be. it's absolutely true or think, eh, hey, might be, might be. And then another one that drives me insane. Half of his voters think it's at least possible or possibly true um, that President Obama was born in Kenya. No, no, at least probably true that President Obama was born in Kenya. Even Trump himself, remember that stupid press conference he did where he made people wait for four hours and then for 45 seconds said, oh yeah, I was just kidding, uh, the president was born here and left. He himself said it, doesn't matter. So, oh yeah, he said that because he doesn't mean it, because what he says is not to be taken literally but to be taken seriously or whatever stupid words we're using these days. So I don't care, I still think half, uh, Obama was born in Kenya. Don't care. I don't care what the evidence is. I don't care about the long form that I pretend to care about all that time. I don't even care what Trump says. I'm a moron and I will believe whatever the hell propaganda I'm given. This is what conservatives think. And it's not even. Yes, liberals also sometimes believe things that aren't true and, and, and even when given facts. And the studies show that it is a human trait. We want to believe certain things and if you get counter evidence, you won't believe. Okay. But is it disproportionate? Yes. All of this shows that, that conservatives believe things that aren't true at much higher rates and things that are totally implausible at much higher rates than liberals do. So one party is not as smart as the other party. One party cares about facts and the other one doesn't. And if you want to be part of the non-scientific, non-factual, non-logic party of the Republicans, have at it, Haas. At least we know where you're coming from. So from now on, when we call Republicans stupid, and wrong, factually wrong, there is data to back it up. We are the watchers on the wall. We are the sword in the darkness. Come join us. TYTnetwork.com slash join.